Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another one of my Adobe Photoshop tutorials and what I'm going to dem demonstrate today is how to use the content aware tool in Adobe Photoshop CS6 extended now I believe the pro they initially introduced it in CS4 or something before that so if you just have regular Adobe, Shop, Adobe Photoshop 4 or better and it doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be extended you'll have the content aware to it. But uh, I want to do a real clean, quick uh, presentation and show you how I can use it, uh, some techniques I've kind of developed in using it. Uh, the content aware tool is not necessarily a one-click solution, but it is a very handy tool. It's, it's several steps up above the patch tool and some other tools that have been in Adobe for a while, such as the, uh, so I can get them to come up here. It's, it's several steps above the spot healing, the healing patch, and the patch tool. It's a really wonderful tool. Uh, it does have options other than just the content aware itself. I won't go into that too much. I will a little bit. But anyway, uh, I'm going to start off by saying the content aware tool is this little cross arrows here. The shortcut is J, which is the same for the spot healing, the healing brush, the patch tool, and the red eye tool. So you can, uh, J is your... Uh, shortcut key for that. Now uh, the first thing I want to say is the when you initially choose a tool without modifying any of the properties and it does have some properties here it has one mode is extend and another one is move. Alright and I I haven't looked at this very deep but you can set the adaptation and they have very strict, strict, medium, loose, very loose. So I'm just using this at the default. But anyway I'll get started here. Uh, you just hit J, and uh, as I suggest, anytime you're working on a file, it may be a critical photo or something, uh, the first thing, first best thing to do is to go ahead and copy that layer. That way it gives you a little bit uh, in case you want to go back. So once you do that, that's you want to copy that layer. And of course, you want to get save it as something as a PSD file. You can do that by going save as. And... Um, We'll just save this as content aware example. So those two things right there, and uh, now you can your work is saved, and you can go back from that point. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, when you select the uh, content aware tool, which is shortcut is J, it's just simple lasso. So this is all you really do. I want to make this uh, ugly uh, gorilla glue tape patch I got on my cameras currently. I want to get it out of there. So what you can do, you just make a loose selection like so. And uh, since it's already the, uh, it's in the extend mode, which is what I want, you just drag it. And you have to pay attention to kind of keep it in line with the material that you want to get rid of. Uh, so you want to make these lines line up. And you just let go. All right. Now you can continue doing that. But what I do is I control D and I start a new selection. Let's say go over here to the other side. And we'll just make a loose loop here. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just move it along with a Wacom pen. Keeping uh, it sort of lined up with the other two lines there. And releasing it and letting it do its thing. All right. So I just kind of work my way in. I'll make another loose selection there. And kind of try to keep it lined up with the the previous lines are four. Get down here a little bit and just release it. And I'll do the same thing here. Once again, I'm working my way in from either end. Just making a really low selection. Don't worry about it too much. Try to keep it lined up like so. And hit Control D to deselect. And we'll just make another one. Maybe make one a little bigger here. We'll move that along, trying to keep it lined up with the previous line lines in the uh, photo, and let it go. All right, then we hit Control D to deselect our selection. Then we do another one here. Try to shape that one a little bit. Try to keep it lined up with the previous lines on the canvas. And do this thing. Now, now we're in a little closer. You can zoom in, which is Z and do the scrubby zoom. So now we can do our selections a little bit closer. So we uh, just hit J and make a loose 
selection and try to keep it lined up with the previous stripes on the canvas let it go then we come over here make another selection and come in here like this let's see if we can join these if you can always go back if it doesn't work out so now we got something uh we got the biggest part of it done control d for deselect whoops control z control d deselect and then we zoom out which we can actually hit z and hit your alt button and move your Wacom pen in the area so now we've got hmm, something pretty close but we can uh, polish it up just a little bit more we got a couple of uh, lines here we got some uh, you know it's kind of jumpy right there so we can go in here see if we can straighten this out a little bit so we just make it a little loose selection hit J for your content aware Tool. Photoshop remembers what you did last, so that's always handy. Uh, let's see if we can turn this. No, we can't really turn it. So we're going to go uh, Enter and then uh, Control Z. Control Alt Z. Z. <clears throat> so what we can do here to fix this, we want to fix this a little bit. So. Uh, one thing you can do, you can always go to your uh, your clone stamp tool. And or wait a minute, let's try something else here. We'll go back to our content aware. We'll draw a selection like this. Since we're using the extend mode, we'll do this number, and we'll extend like this. And then for this part, that's not going to work either. Well, let's try something else. Uh, maybe we can zoom out. We'll take a bigger sample. We'll zoom in. We'll do a bigger sample. We'll just make a real loose selection. And we can... Uh, now, that's not going to work either. We we'll control D that. Well, at this point, the best thing to do is a clone stamp tool. Uh, but um, you can come in here. Hit S for clone stamp. And do your alt. And just kind of... Uh, might have to draw in the line at this point. You have to maybe uh, clone stamp this a little bit. But if you really take your time with the uh, the the uh, content aware, you can you can fix this stuff. You can fix it. So I'm just trying to demonstrate, trying to make a you know a quick video, and uh, so you can practice with it. Now what we might do, we might be able to join. Since we got rid of that bump there, we'll go back to, our, to J. And we'll make another loose selection. Make sure we got it in the extend mode. And now we can maybe drag these two together. Yeah, it looks like that's going to work. There's always a solution in there somewhere. And yeah, we can do that. That's going to look a little better. And we'll zoom out. Control zero. So that's that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to kind of introduce it to you. And then you can do the same technique down there. The line's a little lumpy. But uh, the Content Aware tool is really flexible. It does have some other options. You can, uh, just before I go here, it, when you automatically hit J, you don't necessarily have to use the uh, lasso. Let me get rid of this uh, tab here. You can also do any of your of these other selections. You can do a square, which is M, and you can draw out a square and then hit your content aware. Just hit J, and it will use the square selection as a content aware. Uh, also, you can control Alt Z that. You can uh, do a circle, and of course, you know you can shift Alt, drag it out to make it a perfect circle, and hit J, and now you got a content aware selection that is perfectly circular. Do that. You can also make uh, 
polygon, which is L for lasso. Hit J, and now you got this as a content aware selection. So those are the one things I want to cover, and also you can experiment with the various options for it. There's the move, and there's extended, and then you got the adaptation, which I haven't really messed with that much, but uh, you can try that out as well. So uh, thanks for watching my uh, uh, Adobe Photoshop video tutorial on using the content aware tool, and I'm out of here.